So this next one I'm going to show you is from a limited edition collection. That's why the packaging looks like this. Oh my goodness, you guys. We have an exciting one. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've done a Pat McGrath haul because I'm a psycho and I own everything. So there's no need for me to buy stuff. But look at this. Look at this. See, we got the big box. Bam. Ba bam bam bam. Um, yeah, so... I went a little ham on the $14 lip sale slash 35% off and I got a ton of lip swatches for you today. You just can't beat $14. Well, you can. It was $12 last year, but $14 still I took advantage of it because who knows if it's going to be back next year. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a Pat McGrath haul of all the things that I picked up mostly for the $14 lip sale. We do have a palette. So if you want to see what I picked up, then just keep watching. So first things first, I did pick up one palette. This is probably the least exciting Pat McGrath Mothership palette to me, but I did get the Decadence palette. And you guys, I'm sad because it's the fake one. Why did they do this? It's the one where you don't actually twist it. But the reason that I picked this one up is because I didn't personally have it in my collection. It belongs to my mom and um, I'm not gonna have it forever and I want it for reference. So since it was 35% off, I picked it up. Now this one is the least exciting to me because it doesn't have the Blitz Astral shades, but y'all know it is beautiful nonetheless. These are some beautiful, smooth, creamy, metallic shimmer formulas. This shade right here is insane. I've gotten some good looks out of this. It's just not my favorite Pat McGrath palette. Because of my job and because Pat McGrath is such a staple brand of my collection, to get the 411 on Pat McGrath, I did feel the need to have this one in my collection for you guys. Do you remember when she said that this was limited edition and everybody fought to get it and here we are like three years later. <laughs> I just bought a fresh one. Uh, but yeah, I needed to have it. It was a necessity. You know what I mean? Let's get into lipsticks. I yeah, I'm I'm crazy. <laughs> How many did I buy? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Thirteen lipsticks, you guys. They were $14 each. There were a couple that were a little bit more than $14 because they have like special limited edition packaging. Don't follow me. You did not need to buy 13 lipsticks. I just got ones that I didn't have for the channel, for my job, you know? I might have blacked out. I didn't need all this, but I'm excited to try these on. God bless my lips. We're gonna start off with this formula that I picked up. These are, I believe, they're called Blitch Trance. Yes, lipsticks. I love these for the packaging. They're super glittery, so let me zoom you in. Why did I have this idea to wear white? Foresee an accident coming. I do have a little bit of Olimar Cosmetics Lip Liner in Dulce on, just for the lighter shades. The darker shades, I don't need it. But the first color I'm going to swatch from the Blitch Trance formula is Skin Sane. So let's see. This doesn't seem very blitzy, does it? Super creamy. It feels almost like a lip balm. So let's see. Ooh, that's more pigmented than I thought. It doesn't look very good on my dry lips, so maybe hydrate your lips before putting this on. But this is Skin Sane. It's a very pretty wearable color. It's not blitzy like I wanted it to be, though, but it is pretty nonetheless. So the next color that I have is Skin Fix. You can see this is a little bit more warm and deep. Let's see if it's different on. These almost have, like, a metallic look on the lips. This one's all right. I think I prefer the first color that I showed you, but these are really great as layering lipsticks. I actually like putting these on top of matte lipsticks because they're more hydrating and they give a more interesting effect to the lip. Not my favorite formula, I've decided. I like these, but I don't love them. I'm gonna wipe off my hand and we'll swatch all the matte ones now. So the rest of the lipsticks are all the matte trance lipsticks. This is $19.95. This is easily the most wearable color that I have. It's almost like got a gray undertone to it. So be careful if you don't like that mauve gray look. Very smooth, very creamy. This one is super wearable for purple looks. So if you're looking for a good lipstick for purple looks, this would be great. So again, that was 1995. 
so this next one I'm going to show you is from a limited edition collection that's why the packaging looks like this so this one I believe was more than $14 but this is the shade Amore it's a brighter pink let's try it wow that's very pigmented Mmm, this is a good summer color. I think you guys will like this one in the summer. So again, this one is a more. The next shade that we have is Polaroid Pink. You can see that this one is definitely a bright one. So this one is not really my style. I don't like lips quite so pink. I feel like a Barbie doll. But if you like the Barbie doll pink, I think you will like this one. So again, Polaroid Pink. So the next color looks intensely gorgeous. This is Define Romance. You can see it has more warmth to it. I think I'm going to like this one for a bright pink. Oh yeah. You're going to have to excuse my application. I'm trying to keep the color inside the lip line. Otherwise my lips will get really irritated. Taking on and off and rubbing so hard. But this is more my speed when it comes to pink. I love how rich this is. This is a pretty fall color. Next up, we have Executive Realness. This is very similar to the color I just swatched. It does look like it has a little bit more red in it. Huh, I feel like it, it does definitely have more red. So this is Executive Realness. I like it. It's like a warm berry. Really pretty. Okay, this is the color I was most excited for. It looked the most crazy online. This is Extravaganza. It looks brilliant. Let me try it. Let me try it. This is a color I would never pay full price for, <laughs> but it, you had me at $14. I mean, it's not my typical speed, but I'm happy I picked it up because it's definitely way different from any other color that I have in my lip collection. So Extravaganza is a fun one. This would be cool to wear to like a random, I don't know, party. I don't party, but or a fun dinner or something like that. So I love this one. Oh my gosh, you guys see how these are staining? So this is one of Pat's more popular colors. This is Elson. I got the one with the fancy heart packaging, so it was like, I believe $18. But this is a classic beautiful red, so let's try it. Oh yeah, this is a good red. I picked up a lot of bold colors this time because those are the ones I didn't have. It really is a beautiful true red. Honestly though, I like Elson 2 better, so I would recommend looking into that one. But this one is has a little less orange in it, I would say, but it's very, very pretty. The next one is Flesh 5. You can see this one definitely leans more neutral. I have a lot of pinks and reds in this video. I think I'm going to like this one. Oh yeah, more brown base, which really is my speed. Mmm, this is like a wearable autumnal autumnal is that a word it's like a wearable red for fall <laughs> i like it ignore the red ring i have around my lips how do people do lip swatches without looking a hot mess like i got <laughs> it is what it is but i love this color this next one is one that my mom told me i needed to get guinevere this looks like a beautiful deep kind of vampy red let's try it oh i have all vampy colors left i'm excited but also scared I do like a vampy red. Very pretty. I can't stop staring at this red ring around my lips on the camera. But how pretty is Guinevere? Ooh, if you like a deeper red, this one I think might be my favorite color that I've gotten today. I love it. I would feel so confident walking out in this shade. Last two shades. This next one is full-blooded. It has a little bit more purple to it. It's, it's dark. Okay, here we go ignore that application but dang Ooh, okay this one is definitely out of my comfort zone but if you like this deepy plummy kind of look very pretty okay last lipstick and this is the one that i'm like oh my goodness okay so this last one is mcmenemy it looks like it has a little bit more red than that first color full-blooded but honestly you definitely don't need both of these but it looks darker in the component but let's let's try it on yeah it's definitely a little deeper this one I feel like has a, a golden shimmer to it 
interesting. I'm going to be honest. I don't really like this color. This color is not for me. <laughs> uh, but I did not know about that golden shimmer. Very interesting. I do see my application is terrible. Let me see how I can clean it up a little bit. Or at least soften it, you know. Very interesting. I don't like this color that much, but this is McManamy. And here is a final look at all of the lipsticks that I picked up. I love Guinevere. I think Guinevere is my favorite. 1995 is just a beautiful, beautiful nude shade. So really happy with these. Let me get my life together and then we're going to deal with the lip glosses. All right, finally, lip glosses. And if you don't know, Pat McGrath lip glosses are my all-time favorite formula. So I have a lot of them already, but I picked up seven. And I'm going to put both of these on my lips just to play. So let's start off with Astral Moonflower. Look at that. I just want to see what it looks like on the lips. I'm not going to swatch all of the lip glosses on the lips because most of them are sheer anyways. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> would I wear this in everyday life no but if I was doing a cool blue look pretty not gonna wear it a lot but pretty <laughs> I like that one okay the other one I wanted to test out was paraphernalia I just wanted to see exactly how purple it looked on my lips let's see this one has a good amount of pigmentation you see that so this one is paraphernalia Mm, it smells like cream cheese icing. Delicious. Vanilla. Super vanilla-y. Delicious. That's pretty if you like pink glosses or something more purple and vibrant. If you're into vibrant lip colors, this is a great compliment. I like this one. Okay, I'm going to put on one more lip gloss. I need to decide which one. Okay, so since my eyes are a little bit cooler, I'm going to use Wicked Whisper. This one looks like a great wearable color. It's not one of the crazier colors that I got. Sorry, you can see the lipsticks definitely stained my arm, but look at that. Full of opacity. It doesn't have any glitter in here. I'm going to like this one. Yeah, beautiful. Do you see that? So this is one without the shimmer or reflex just a true clean satiny finish here I love this one wicked whisper is great for an everyday nude shade um, I also have aphrodisiac which is like a lighter pinky nude let's see how this swatches yeah this one also I think is pretty for everyday wear and this one doesn't have any glimmers in here either really gorgeous Here's a brighter one. I was excited for this one to go with the brighter pink lips that I bought. This is Heavy Petal. You guys, if you haven't tried the Pat McGrath lip gloss formulas yet, you're missing out. They really are the best. This one also doesn't have any shimmers in it. It looks really pretty. Let's mix this a little bit. Let's get something bolder on the lips. Mmm. Very pretty. I like that. With lip glosses, though, you probably don't need all of these colors because they do run more sheer on the lips, so it's harder to tell a difference. This next one is Secret Lover. This is a pretty mauve shade. I used to have a MAC lip glass that looked exactly like this. I think I just decluttered it. But this is one of my favorite everyday type of shades. This is just this deep kind of mauve shade. And this one is the last one that I have that doesn't have any glitter particles. It really is more so about the pigment. Okay, last one. Whew. We have Gold Allure. So I have colors that look like this from Pat McGrath, but this one almost has some like green shimmers in here, but it is really, really gold. I did have to mix this up because it looked like the glitters had fallen to the bottom, but this one's going to be mostly clear with a golden sheen to it. This is going to look beautiful over any colored lipstick that you want a gold shimmer over because the base is mostly clear. I really love these types of shades from Pat McGrath, like the Astral Moonflower, also really cool for their strong purple glitters so the astral formula stunning on the lips completely changes up the look but there we have it i mean these are all seven of the glosses that i picked up now if you're interested in seeing more colors i just a couple weeks ago filmed a entire pat mcgrath swatch video of 
all of my collection that I already have. That one is also going to be very helpful. This one's a little bit more casual just because it was a haul, not really a demo. Maybe one day I'll do something a little bit more professional from the entire Pat McGrath lip collection. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have. Let me back out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Huge Pat McGrath haul today. I'm really excited for all of these new lip colors and I did a huge clean out of my lip colors actually quite recently. So I'm excited to have some more. You guys know I haven't been as into lip colors likewise with probably the rest of everybody else for the mask reasoning, but I've been coming back into lip colors just for the holiday season hanging out at home. I put on something bright just because. So I'm really excited to play with these colors over the next few weeks. If you picked up anything from the sale or sales, I should say she had a lot. Let me know down below in the comment box. What did you pick up? Did you pick up any lip colors that I did? And with that being said, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel because we are in the middle of Vlogmas and I am uploading every single day. So I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys. Have a good one.